Hey, whoa there, partner. Won't you back up and hit that subscribe button? And while you're at it, won't you hit that like button? You know you want to. The learned brother knows the first attempt to establish Freemasonry in Texas was by Brother Austin in 1828. But the story of Morton Lodge number 72 of Richmond, Texas predates this by almost four years. The first establishment in Fort Bend County was by Brother William Morton, his wife Nancy, who established a league and a half in that labor on July 7, 1824. In 1825, Robert Gillespie, a native of Scotland, was met with foul play and mortally wounded. He found his way to Brother Morton's home, wherein he was cared for until his death. During this approximate two-week stretch of time, the two discovered each was a master mason. Brother Morton buried Brother Gillespie on his labor in what is today the Morton Cemetery. To honor his fallen brother, William Morton, an operative brick mason, gathered clay from the clay grounds of the Brazos River approximately six miles from his labor and transported it by mule to his labor to form and fire bricks. Also by mule, he gathered seashells from the Colorado River or Brazos River estuary areas of the Gulf of Mexico. He extracted calcium carbonate, lime, and silica to form mortar to bind the bricks. With additional planning, labor, and precision, William Morton constructed the Gillespie Monument, the oldest Masonic monument in Texas and west of the Mississippi River. The honor Brother Morton bestowed upon Brother Gillespie was not returned as he met his untimely death in 1833 during a flood of the Brazos River. In 1836, subsequent to the fall of the Alamo, Santa Ana and the Mexican Army camped in what is today Richmond while on their way to San Jacinto. Some of the men attempted to raise the Gillespie Monument to the ground. A Mexican Army officer, presumably a Mason, recognized the monument as a Masonic relic and halted the destruction. The Gillespie Monument remained in a dilapidated state until 1936, when the members of Morton Lodge refurbished it to its modern-day appeal, in part as a celebration of our great state's 100th year anniversary.
fragrance of a good deed. Many years since, a poor sojourner through the wilds of Texas paused at a farmhouse on the lonely banks of the Brazos to die. The owner, a Freemason, discovered the Masonic claims of his guest not too late to make the mystic tie available. All the consolations of brotherly sympathy and attendance were freely bestowed upon him, and when these could avail the pilgrim no longer, his remains were tenderly consigned to maternal earth. The generous planter, reading the Masonic service and covering in the precious dust alone. Long years afterwards, and when the populous village had sprung up upon the riverbanks, a Masonic lodge was established there. The hall was built, and the Mount Moriah upon which it was erected was the green knoll beneath which the stranger's bones are moldering. Morton Lodge No. 72 at Richmond, Texas, yet stands to perpetuate the fragrance of a good deed.